going to explain the four stages of sleep. In sleep, the brain goes through four main stages, each characterized by different types of brain wave, the electrical impulses emitted by the brain. Now let's begin with stage one, the first stage, the lightest, in transition from wakefulness to drowsiness. As we enter it, our muscles relax, the blood pressure drops, and the heart rate and digestion slow down. The brain begins to produce hormones such as serotonin and melatonin, which are associated with sleep and sleepiness. Whether they actually cause sleep is under debate, but this is definitely when we do our first stage of sleep. Stage 2. This starts quite after we soon fall asleep and occupies about 45% of human sleep. It contains a mixture of deeper and slower brain waves. Theta brain waves are about 3.5 to 7.5 cycles per second, typical of drowsiness and light sleep, and slow delta waves under about 3.5 cycles per second, during which we are really unconscious. In stage 3, which is the stage you hear very little about, it occupies only about 7% of sleep in young adults, is another transition phase to deeper sleep. As delta wave activity increases, we are taking fairly rapidly to stage 4. So this is a stage you rarely hear about and you're rarely in it as well. And on to stage 4, our last stages of sleep. Stage 4 is the deepest form of sleep with delta brain waves predominating. It makes up about 13% of sleep in adults. We stay in stage 4 for quite long periods before surfacing again to REM sleep, which occurs in stage 1 several times during the night. For those of you that are not aware, REM sleep stands for Rapid Eye Movement Sleep, and it occurs in stage 1 and increases in quantity later on throughout the night. It has now been found that we also dream during stages of sleep. It is used to be thought that REM sleep was the part of the sleep essential to us. It was also discovered that these periods were needed for brain rest and that people who were deprived of them would develop psychosis. So regardless of who you are or what you do for a living, getting adequate sleep is the backbone to maintaining a proper lifestyle and ultimate wellness. I ask y'all to subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest, greatest health and wellness videos, motivation, yoga, and meditation. But before I let you go, I'd like to leave you with one thing. Being well is feeling well. Feeling well is doing well. Doing well is living well. Take care, everybody, and happy sleep.